All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be cleaning my solar panels. Now I've had these solar panels for about 13 years or so, and I'll tell you what, man, it was the smartest thing I've ever done. I put these panels on the roof, man, I got incredible tax rebates, and every month, my pretty much, my electric bill is Bam, zero. Well, it's actually about 18 bucks because they charge us, you know, for administrative fees. But I'll tell you what, it's unbelievable because every appliance in my house is electric, my car is electric. Man, I run my air conditioner as full throttle, it's nice and cool, and I'll tell you what, it doesn't cost me a thing. You know what, I'll get into the whole solar thing at another time. Today I just wanna clean them. It's very important if you're gonna be making power off of these solar panels, that it has to be clean so that the sun can penetrate through the glass. Now I live next to, next to some farm fields, and I'll tell you what, man, that dust slowly but surely accumulates on these panels, and about maybe twice a year I gotta get up there and clean them off, and today I'm gonna show you how I do it. We're going to use super clean at about an 8 to 1 dilution ratio. We don't need a whole lot of cleaning power, but I do want some suds on there. I want some lubrication and I want a little bit of cutting power. So super clean is our choice today. I'm going to mix it up into the foam cannon so we can get that cool foam all over the place. I'm going to come back and hit it with a telescoping brush and follow with a telescoping squeegee. Now we don't want this water drying onto the, uh, onto the surface of these panels. Unless you have deionized water, it's gonna leave spots. Rainwater's fine, that generally cleans the panels, it does a pretty good job. But every once in a while, we gotta come back and get it good. So one thing I recommend for sure, if you're gonna be climbing around on your roof, we don't wanna be falling off. So I'm gonna be using my rock climbing harness. I'm gonna be using a, a length of rope that makes sense so that when I fall off the roof, I don't plat all the way down onto the ground. I wanna be hanging like two feet off the ground with four broken vertebrae. I don't want to be laying on the ground with two broken legs and six broken vertebrae. <laughs> but use a proper harness, man. They sell them at places. They have them on Amazon. I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description. Just make sure you're safe about this. That's the most important thing. All right, so there's not much more to it, but to get, oh, you know what? One last thing. Of course we're going to be using that pressure washer, man. There's no way I'm going to be up there with a hose thumbing it like that, man. That doesn't make make any sense when we got this baby right here. So we're going to be using the pressure washer and I've decided to go with a with a more narrow tip. This is a 20 degree tip, not the typical 40 degree that we use for auto detailing because I want a little bit more a little bit more juice coming out of this thing. I want to blow that dirt off of there. So that's pretty much it. Let's get up on the roof. Let's get them cleaned off and let's get making that full power again. All right. Yeah. All right. It's time to use that pressure washer, man. I enjoy every minute of this. I'll tell you what, this is one of my favorite pieces of kit in the garage for sure. So we'll use that 20 degree tip to really dislodge anything that's stuck to the glass. It could be bugs, it could be bird crap, you name it, it's just gonna get blown right off the glass. And the more often you do this, the less work you're gonna have to uh, do getting this stuff off the glass. So keep that in mind. If you live somewhere really dirty, you might just have to do it a few times a year. Now we'll hit it with the foam cannon. What a neat way to apply the product. That's always a good time. And we'll follow up with the brushwork. Man, once you're up on the roof, do a good job. Put the effort in. We don't want to be up here any more than we have to. Make sure you rinse the product off thoroughly. We don't want this stuff drying in the sun. We're trying to make it better, not worse. <laughs> and a good squeegee job, just so that there's no uh, water left behind to leave any spots on the glass. So to sit back and relax, and I'm going to speed things up a little bit so you can just get a general idea of the whole entire project.
right, man, that's all it took to get those panels done is a little bit of blood, tons of sweat. Man, I even popped a tear out or two. Nah, no way, man, you know better than that. <laughs> those panels were super easy to clean. I'll tell you what, just a quick pre-rinse. Spray the foam on, that looks cool. I love using the foam cannon. And this uh, super clean mixture in there, man, it just kind of eats into that dirt, makes it super easy, agitate it off, use that pressure washer, man. I try to use this thing for everything that I can. That's one of my favorite tools in the garage. And uh, man, it makes short work of this. And it makes those old panels look brand spanking new. And I'll tell you what, that's important because we want all that sun we can get in there to get us our energy we want. Because I love running the AC. You know I'm a tech person, man. I love solar, I love my Tesla, and all that neat stuff. So if you have any questions about all that stuff, feel free to ask down in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Come on, man, you know you want to. Everybody does. <laughs> All right, and that's pretty much all I got today, man. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do a, a video here in the near future all about my solar system. I've been stoked on that thing for many years and I wanna share it with people. So with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, see ya.